In this video, we start an Azure Automation Runbook with a schedule and then with PowerShell. Hello everyone, I'm Travis and this is Seraldos. In this video, we go over how to start an Azure Automation Runbook automatically with a schedule or manually from PowerShell. Before that, please like, subscribe, share with a friend, and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Also, become a member of the channel for early access to videos, ad-free while private, and check out my courses on Azure Virtual Desktop and Hybrid Identities with Windows AD and Azure AD. The links are below. Back to it. Previous videos on Azure Automation showed how to start a runbook from the portal. I don't see the need to go over that again. In this video, we're going to review the Azure Automation schedule and then apply that schedule to a runbook. After that, we'll use PowerShell to view an automation account and runbook. Then we'll start a job and view that job with PowerShell. This is helpful if you're starting a runbook from the PowerShell command line or an automated task. Let's jump into the Azure portal and create the schedule. Here we are in the Azure Automation portal. We already went over publishing and running jobs with the portal in a previous video. Let's go to schedules. Schedules are shared, so we can create them and share them between different runbooks and other resources in Azure Automation. Let's create our schedule. From schedules, we'll add a schedule. Give it a name. This example uses the start by VM tag runbook from a previous video. So for this example, let's say we're going to start the VMs every weekday at 8 a.m. So let's call it weekday at 8 a.m. And give it a description. Runs weekdays at 8 a.m. for this example. We have to give it a start time. This has to be at minimum five minutes after we create this schedule. We can also use this start time to postpone the first run. Select the time zone. U.S. Central Time for this example. Azure Automation Schedule supports daylight savings time if your time zone uses that. We can set the trigger to only run once, but for this example, we want reoccurring. Let's look at hourly first. The minimum reoccurrence for Azure Automation is one hour. If you need the runbook to run more frequently, look into Azure Functions instead. An Azure function can run every minute or even more frequently down to seconds. Notice we can also set an expiration. If you're going to set an expiration, that should be indicated in the title or at least the description. That way nobody else uses the schedule expecting it not to expire. Let's change the expiration to no and change the reoccurrence to day. Now it will run every day at the same time as the start time. Again, you can set it to expire if needed. Change the reoccurrence to every month. We can select specific days and tell it to run the last day of the month. This is helpful because the last day of the month is different for every month. We can also select weekdays and set a reoccurrence based on days of the week. Let's change the reoccurrence back to week. Here we can set the weekdays for the trigger to fire. We'll select the weekdays. Also, let's go back up to start time. And we'll change the start time to the next weekday and the start of that day. So for this example, we're on Saturday. We'll select the 19th, which is Monday. And we want to go at 8 a.m. For this example, the schedule will run at 8 a.m. each weekday. Let's click Create. And from here, we'll link it to a runbook. Let's go to Runbooks. We'll select our runbook. Start VM by tag for this example. Go to Schedules. We'll add a schedule. Link a schedule to your runbook. Notice you do have the option to add a schedule here. We'll select the schedule we just created. And click OK. Now it's linked. If we go back into this schedule, we have the option to unlink the schedule. Let's close that. And we'll go back to our automation account. Schedules. And we'll open the schedule we created. 
Now we can edit the schedule and at the very bottom, it shows the linked runbooks. You can see what runbooks are linked from this view. That is how to create and link a schedule to a runbook. Let's start the runbook from a PowerShell command line next. We'll do that by going to VS Code. Here we are in VS Code logged into the subscription. Let's trigger the runbook with PowerShell. This option is handy if we want to start jobs from the command line or some other PowerShell automation. We'll start by setting our variables. I have an automation account resource group, name, and the runbook name. Let's run these to load them into memory. Let's view the automation account first with the get automation account command, passing in the resource group and account name variable. That looks good. Next, let's view the runbook with the get Azure automation runbook command. This returns information about our runbook, including the name, the runbook type, when it was created, and when it was last modified. That verifies we have the correct variable set. Next, we're going to get the jobs with the get automation job command. This passes in the resource group, account name, and runbook name. It also formats the output so it's a little easier to read. That lists all the jobs for the runbook, as well as the job status. Let's run the job next. There are two commands. The first runs start AZ automation runbook, passing in the resource group name, account name, and runbook name. It adds that job to a variable. The next command pipes that variable into the get AZ automation job command. This lets us view the status of the job as it's running. I'll run the command to start the job first, and then the second command multiple times until the job completes. That way we can watch the status as we run the command. It shows a new job. Now it shows it's running. Still running. And now it's complete. Now that it's finished, let's run the get AZ automation job again. Now it shows the job we just ran. That's how to start the runbook and view the status from PowerShell. That is how to configure and apply a schedule and start an automation job with PowerShell. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and thanks for watching.